whatsapp lo ex file pampichanu ubuntu you received or not achunda just we received sir Now, LDS in uh, Alex. Uh, yes, just try to install, but make sure that you have proper internet. It will download, it will install the Ubuntu in our machine. So once uh, that is only just click click next finish and uh, first time it is asking username password. Once installation is done, uh, so how to open Ubuntu? If you want to open, uh, just press Windows button your machine. Just search the Ubuntu. That's it. so we can see like this okay now first time for your case it is asking username password so set the username whatever you want and set password whatever you want that's it so remaining story same only remaining story same only so how to play out just run your linux commands and all okay so yesterday already we see few commands right so as of now you know what are the commands just to we revised so you know touch command cd command you know pwd next cat command ls command mostly we see right ls command and so this all are some basic command next ll in ls command so we we executed many uh, you know right different ways whatever you want uh, so we can do it yeah. so today we'll see touch command touch means uh, so if you want to create file there is many ways we can create file in linux machine so if you want to create any file for example i want to create one file so we can create many ways and uh, what are the ways means uh, so whether we can use what is happen let us window or ms paint so if you want to create files in linux machine there is different ways uh, we can create files so as of now you know right which command we used touch space uh, file name right correct or this is it will create empty file suppose if you want to add file if you want to add some content i want to create we can use cat also we can use cat file name cat file name file file name and uh, so whatever you want enter data and uh, so after entering uh, and finally we need to use command uh, so ctrl uh, control plus d and save it exit and uh, this is the first way this is a empty file this is the first uh, if you want to create any file uh, this is the second way also we can create uh, but usually so regularly so mostly we are using real time if you want to create if you want to any file uh, we are using a uh, file vi that is the vi editor so we are using notepad right vi space file name and uh, so file name and whatever you want uh, so we can update and uh, so if you want to update if you want to add data whatever you want uh, so if you want to save escape first we need to press escape colon wq save and uh, quit the file this many ways we can create file as of now you know touch command it will create only empty file i hope you understand right <coughs> clear anyone any doubt no doubt sir okay. is correct how so we will see second way how to create uh, so using uh, so second way how to create now this is only if it will create empty file now come to our console and ls so now see here touch space touch space i am using also file file name is uh, uh, for example dev1.txt this is just as my file name it is empty file only ls now see here dev1.txt file and if you want to see the content cat space file name cat is a purpose if you want to see the content in the file dev1.txt nothing that's it nothing is there now we'll try second way whether a file is creating or not i want to add some data and i want to create one file and i need to add some data and so now check it whether it will create or not 
so see here cat at then and file name now for example i am using dev2.txt we can give any file name just for understanding purpose i am giving a dev2.txt press enter here enter whatever you want so welcome to linux class just okay and whatever you want so next dev apps class just i am giving uh, something get uh, whatever you want uh, i typed so now if you want to come outside control d control d means uh, save and uh, so get the that console save and get the that console that's it now see here so cat is space greater than file name whatever you want just type and uh, so finally control d now see here ls file is created or not where is this file this is dev2.txt file file is created once file is created how to check the data i want to see the content what is the command cat space file name dev2.txt dev2. Uh, so txt right txt now got it clear guys anyone any doubt here this is if we have any limited limited lines one line two line i want to for testing purpose so that case we can use uh, so cat space file name and greater than file name just we are appending appending data to this file name whatever we are i am typing some data and uh, so once that is done finally if you want to save and close that uh, console control d that's it clear so this is the one way now file is created in the file uh, we can see data also now LL. now see here this is uh, dev1 dev2 and uh, c48 uh, kb kilobyte data so in this file i don't have any file and uh, there is one more way real time mostly we are using this way va command editor so usually you know right in windows uh, i want to create one text file how many ways we can create text file anyone I want to create one text file so there is many many to many ways we can create right so first see if you go to here window control notepad this is a one way see here if you click on uh, so notepad and uh, this is the editor this is the first editor right this is the first editor whatever you want so whatever you want uh, so we can type here after that uh, just uh, control s save this is a windows right save the file and uh, we can if you want to modify we can modify clear this is a notepad and same way suppose i do i want to few more options this is only file is there edit is there view is there the only limited options same way there is one more you know right uh, so some advanced notepad plus plus uh, mostly we are using notepad plus plus right if you see here this is also same only this is also same only and uh, see here we can see many options uh, file inside file we can see many things uh, edit uh, we can see many options uh, search uh, we can see many options but both purpose is same only this is the advanced one okay so whatever you want we can use whatever you can uh, we can use whatever you want uh, so we can uh, so use it whatever you want uh, we can use it whatever you want uh, so we can use it same way this is a windows uh, notepad or notepad plus plus or visual studio there are many things right got it anyone any doubt if you want to create files if you want to create any files uh, we can use anyone we can use anything we can use uh, so we can use anything so. notepad or notepad plus plus or visual studio uh, these are the editors only these are the editors see here if you click on visual studio we'll see later how it will work and all and real time uh, so based on requirement we can use any one editor but same way if you come to linux so if you come to linux and uh, here also we are using uh, many editors so the basic one is VA, VA space file name, VA space file name. How we are opening notepad, 
సేమ్ వే విఐ స్పేస్ ఎడిటర్ ఆ ఫైల్ నేమ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ డెవ్ త్రీ డాట్ టీఎక్స్టి సో ఇఫ్ యూ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ఎంటర్ ఇట్ విల్ ఓపెన్ వన్ విండో సీ హియర్ ఇఫ్ యూ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ఎంటర్ ఇట్ విల్ ఓపెన్ వన్ విండో సీ హియర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద న్యూ ఫైల్ అండ్ సీ దిస్ ఆర్ ద దిస్ ఆర్ ద కంటెంట్ అండ్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద లైన్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ అండ్ వీ కెన్ ఆర్ టైప్ హియర్ రైట్ నౌ so if you want to type anything first you need to press insert button insert first time so you see if you press enter now bottom we can see insert if you see insert means now we can add data in the file whatever you want clear so now we can type see devs okay tools just i am typing okay git jenkins just i am giving uh, so some names okay docker aws how to save here how to save here same way if you want to save here so this is the escape first we need to press escape in our keyboard first you need to press escape escape now see here insert gone escape and colon 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 means uh, shift shift pattukoni mee dintlo two dots vastundi kada జస్ట్ ప్రెస్ చేయాలి కోలన్ అండ్ సో డౌన్ మీన్స్ సేవ్ సేవ్ ద ఫైల్ అండ్ డూ యూ హ్యావ్ స్టే హియర్ సేమ్ పేజ్ ఆర్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ ఎగ్జిట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద పేజ్ అండ్ క్యూ మీన్స్ ఎగ్జిట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది ఫైల్ క్విట్ ద ఫైల్ ఎనీ వన్ ఎనీ డౌట్ హియర్ సేమ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ వి డిస్కస్ హియర్ సేమ్ ఓన్లీ సో హియర్ ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఎస్కేప్ ఫస్ట్ వీ నీడ్ టు ప్రెస్ ఎస్కేప్ escape button right in our uh, keyboard escape uh, top left escape keyboard correct uh, esc escape button and colon wq what is w means w w means windows we are using control s right same way save and uh, what is q q means quit uh, that is exit quit. from the file okay whatever you want so this is the this is the only this mostly real time also i am also using only this vi only uh, there is many editors available in uh, linux also if you want to we can install this is a basic editor this is the basic editor in windows we are using notepad notepad plus plus right same way linux uh, we can use vi editor so now see here where i mean okay press enter now see the data how to see the data whether really it is added or not really it is updated or not cat space what is file name dev3.txt now got it clear so anyone any doubt guys real time mostly we are using vi command or vim command and with the help of we are creating files and for example i want to add so first i created file name dev3.txt file and uh, so already i added some data i added some tools now again i need to add one more tool now how to edit this file <coughs> how to edit this file windows how we are editing only file is available just open the file for example we are going to here right click on edit again we are opening we are updating whatever you want right finally we are using control s control s means save the file correct this is a windows format and same way if we come to linux now this is already existing file how to open here so same command vi space what is the file name file name which file you want to edit ఐ ఐ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇన్ అవర్ కీబోర్డ్ జస్ట్ క్యారెక్టర్ ఐ ఐ మీన్స్ దట్ ఈజ్ ఇన్సర్ట్ ఇన్ బాటమ్ వీ కెన్ సి ఆటోమేటిక్ ఇట్ విల్ చేంజ్ టు ఇన్సర్ట్ మోడ్ నవ్
so i means see here now it is in insert mode now where you want to add where you want to update see here go to here docker here i am adding so cabinets whatever you want okay so my i updated my file after updated how to save this file same command how to save this file same command first what you need to press now tell me first what i need to do escape, escape. next colon shift colon only if you want to save w that's it see i am using only w now i am in stay in same page or different page w ante me file save avutundi but same screen lo untav same file lo ne untav nu so now escape colon w q q means save the content next what i need to do exit from the hmm anyone exit from the file correct ah so if file save cheyali after saving i want to come outside the file so that case we need to use uh, q no 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 sir i don't want to quit from the file and that case we can use only w so now see here q also now come outside now check whether really it is updated or not cat space dev3.txt now see here i hope you got it right ఈ విఐ కమాండ్ ఎలా ప్లే చేయాలి నేర్చుకుంటే ఆల్మోస్ట్ సిక్స్టీ పర్సెంట్ వీ కెన్ వర్క్ విత్ లైన్ ఎక్స్ దర్ ఈస్ ఫీ మోర్ షార్ట్ కట్స్ అవైలబుల్ విల్ డిస్కస్ దట్ ఆల్సో దట్ సిట్ రిమైనింగ్ అండ్ ఆల్ సో దట్ మోస్ట్లీ దే వోంట్ ఆస్క్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ ఓన్లీ హౌ టు సర్చ్ ద ఫై హౌ టు సర్చ్ ద కంటెంట్ ఇన్ ద ఫైల్ హౌ టు సర్చ్ ద కంటెంట్ ఇన్ ద ఫైల్ హౌ టు ఎడిట్ ద ఫైల్ హౌ టు డిలీట్ ద లైన్ so they are asking many questions anyway i will explain all these things only interview questions that and all so i hope you got some idea right if you want to create file we can create three ways touch we can use it this is a empty file and if we have only limited data one or two lines for testing purpose we can also use cat command or uh, so the main the powerful command is vi clear guys anyone any doubt now already somewhere is there vi so vi editor so vi i vim vi am vim uh, now see here so already in the document uh, so all commands available and uh, so vim difference so whatever vi somewhere they are using uh, so vi command linked files report that only we can see vi command diff cmd editor a type editor editor mm, see these are the editors working with editors so vi editor uh, g edit editor nano editor vim editor anyone these all are the same only purpose is same only and we can install anyone but the by default every linux machine so vi editor is available and uh, so right now i used only vi editor if you want to we can use g editor also if you want to use nano editor also if you want to vim also there is many editors available just install it that's it we can use editor to edit the file content whatever you want so if you want to use we can use file content so we can use file content there is multiple editors available in a uh, so in the linux these are the by default one vi editor default one vi editor and no need to install anything and no need to do anything simply use vi space file name that's it clear so anyone any doubt i hope you got it right if it is clear let's move on to next command anyway later i will discuss all shortcut commands and all just i show how many ways we can create files now come to clear right or sai kiran clear now if you give yes or no i can understand whether you are audible i am i can hear your voice 
హలో ఎస్ సార్ నా వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎంకేడిఆర్ మోస్ట్లీ డైలీ ఆర్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఫ్రీక్వెంట్లీ ఐఎమ్ ఆల్సో యూజింగ్ ఎంకేడిఆర్ కమాండ్ ఎంకేడిఆర్ స్పేస్ డైరెక్టర్ నేమ్ సో ఇన్ విండోస్ సింప్లీ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ ఫోల్డర్ దట్స్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఫోల్డర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ ఫోల్డర్ అండ్ సో వై నీట్ ఐ హోప్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఫోల్డర్ ఎందుకు విండోస్లో మనకి వై యూ గో ఫర్ ఫోల్డర్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అ ఫోల్డర్ రైట్ ఇన్ విండోస్ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ లైక్ ఫోల్డర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ ఫోల్డర్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు క్రియేట్ ఎనీ ఫోల్డర్ హియర్ సీ హియర్ దర్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆప్షన్ న్యూ ఫోల్డర్ కరెక్ట్ సో ఇన్ సైడ్ ఫోల్డర్ వాట్ వీ కెన్ స్టోర్ ఫైల్స్ ఫైల్స్ అగైన్ ఫోల్డర్ సబ్ ఫోల్డర్స్ ఆల్సో కరెక్ట్ only files uh, we can create folders also uh, inside sub folders folders uh, see i created aa folder inside this if you want to we can create right click and we can go here and click on it. this is the sub folder for example bb bb is the sub folder inside also we can keep files uh, inside also we can create sub folders uh, so that is i hope everyone uh, know okay what is a folder same concept if you come to linux uh, we are calling directory we are calling directory apart from this nothing now how to create directory here this is the command mkdir directory name if this is the terminology first try to understand try to digest this is windows we are calling folder but if you come to linux or ubuntu anything any mission this is called directory now i want to create one directory so how to create directory now see here ls clear the screen ls command now i want to create one directory i want to create one directory devops directory so how to create this is the basic mk dir direct name devops see here devops so as of now do we have any directory here no right now how to check so ls now here confusion right which is directory which is file which is executable files yesterday we know one command ls command so ls space hyphen f format i want to see which is directory which is executable files and which is linked files if you want to see now see here a is the file or directory a a and devops and this one and the test this all are the directory direct so uh, yes sir. so just remember if you use directory slash means directory all right last class we direct uh, discussed directory and uh, star means executable files next uh, at means linked files correct ah so now based on this we can easily identify which is directory which is here nothing is there means these all are files, files regular files these all are normal files that's it okay now directory is created now so <coughs> directory is created now if you want to go to this directory what is the command i want to go to this directory cd cd directory hmm that's it now see here pwd now see here i am in which directory devops directory suppose if you want to create one more folder this is nothing but sub directory windows uh, sub uh, folder uh, sub uh, sub folder here this is sub directory now same command mk mkdir 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 and directory name for example devops 1 are here one more doubt so this is the my root directory right now i can give mkdir devops is it possible or not is it allow or not this is my directory this is my root directory correct ah main directory so inside this directory i am giving same name is it allow or not one guy asked 
so they have sub they have one directory main directory inside this directory i am giving same name is it allow or not just yes or no first come to windows sir. now see here this is a main directory correct this is a folder sorry not directory here this is a folder inside this folder can i create subfolder same name or not same name or not allow this and allow say that just in target that multiple folders on desktop look at just quantum so is it allow or not yes sir no no sir uh, see hey, this is folder inside this folder this is the main folder correct inside this folder but here if i try to give same name it won't allow don't confuse is the main folder is this is my main folder here i created a, this is subfolder subfolder also we can give same name no problem but already aa folder available here again i am trying to give same name now is it is it allow or not now it won't allow see here now it won't allow this directory this destination already contains folder name aa now got it so this is the main folder and this is the subfolder main folder subfolder we can give same name no problem but already name same name already available i am trying to give same name again it won't allow duplicate right yes or no duplicate for example bb it won't allow so now what what i need to do i am giving different name different folder name see here i am giving cc now it is allow or not there is no duplicate there is no duplicate i hope you understand right clear anyone any doubt here the same name to man folder unte accept cheyadu but root name root folder name sub folder name we can give same name no problem it is allowing just try your side also same concept here also now this is a main this is the main folder that this is main directory and sub directory also i am giving same name is it allowed no problem it will allow see here so now see here cd space devops now again i am giving to mkdar devops now is it allowed or not now ipudu cheppandi is it allowed or not devops ane name unda leda no it won't allow see here cannot create directory devops file a directory already exist ante same name already undi so it won't give same name please change the name that is the meaning now i am giving devops one happily it will allow that is so anyone any doubt now how to create directory and if you want to come outside directory how to come outside the directory cd space dot dot only one directory clear now one more command now we know how to create directory i want to remove this directory so first we will see how to remove the file we'll cover now we know how to create files you know how to create directory also you know suppose if you want to remove the file rm space file name so now i want to remove one file how to remove file anyone rm space which file you want to remove for example i want to remove dev2.txt file dev2.txt file that's it clear clear or not now see here if no error means command is executed now check ls command so dev2 file can you see dev2 file here deleted or not right suppose if you want to remove the multiple files so rm space these are the basic commands so you need to understand i want to remove uh, so multiple files we can give like this also for example t1.txt 
and for example dev2 dot dev3 dot txt like this also we can pass multiple txt text1 dot txt text1 dot txt got it suppose if we have 10 files we need to give 10 times right yes or no this is also possible if you want to remove we can give multiple files also if you want to we can give multiple files also rm space file name file 1 and whatever you want so file 2 space only in between face only and file 3 whatever you want we can give and finally you can want to we can give fresh also now see here three files deleted three files removed now it's ls command now check it so t1.txt so not there and dev3.txt not here and text1.txt not here clear in real time mostly uh, log files uh, some common files i want to delete at a time no no sir the txt files extension txt files and all i don't want i want to remove all txt files at a time now see here first i am going to create files toc touch and uh, i am giving uh, so one for example file one dot dot five files i need to create i need to create and uh, before that file now see here <coughs> this is also five files i created file one this is the loop actually we'll see later file if already know leave it okay file one file two file three like this also five files created now observe here file one file two file three file four five files suppose if you want to relate uh, so all files i don't want these all files i don't if you want to we can remove rm space file one rm space file two rm space file three like this also if you want to rem remove some uh, same pattern files that case also we can use rm space file now i'm giving star now i'm giving star here what is star represents you know wildcard characters anyone wildcard characters characters means uh, there is question mark and star here star represents so uh, question mark represent, represents single character question mark represents single character star represents multiple characters that is up to earlier it is supporting 8 9 this is single character multiple characters multiple characters after that uh, we can give any character that is multiple means any character not any characters any or multiple characters any characters now here i am giving star star means so four four letters should be file and fifth letter any character now what are the files it will remove tell me first four letter file only fifth letter any character file one two four five one two three four five all will remove at a time now check it see here now right for example i want to remove only txt files extension should be txt file so this is the command rm space and file name file name should be any name now blindly tell any name means any character means what i need to use any name file name should be any name if any name what i any name means question marker star multiple characters this is multiple characters and a file name should be any name that means i am giving star, star. and extension ela a files remove cheyal anukunnano which files which extension file only okay. txt that's it okay now now tell me which file it will remove here this one one and two three four five files will be removed i hope you understand right the star represents 
मल्टीपुल कैरेक्टर्स एनी नेम एनी फाइल एनी फाइल नेम फाइल नेम शुड बी एनी नेम स्टार रिप्रेजेंट्स एनी नेम नाउ सी हियर एलएस नाउ सी दिस वन डिलीटेड आर नॉट वन टू फाइव टोटल फाइव फाइल्स डिलीटेड फॉर एग्जांपल आई वांट टू रिमूव ओनली आई एम गिविंग लाइक दिस स्टार एंड क्वेश्चन मार्क डॉट टीएक्सट So now it will try. Question mark represents file name. Ela ondaale, okay, what character ondaale? X tangs na txt file ondaale. Do we have any file here like that? Elant file se onda ya? Check it here. Any file like this? Sir. First, star question mark represents one character. And the file name okay, single character. X tangs no. txt file do we have any file here no, no right now see here just press enter see no such file or directory and try jesindi so there is no file like that now see here i am giving a touch space a file name and i want to give a, i am to give one dot dot 10 files so 10 files create JSON. Now see here. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. 10. Now first letter A1 dikar man ke. First letter A right. Now see here. A, A. And second letter or next and all any characters. Maybe I don't know. I want to remove stars with A letter files. So now see here star. You know right star represents any character i hope you got it right if the a files delete out first character a only second a only a eight in our a to ex ten except b uh, except b a is not what it is saying a is a is directly already directly also available right okay now it is considered uh, now in this case uh, there is one directory also available here see here a and a is now i need to if you want to remove there is one more option i f and f mm, okay first i am giving b also available right i am giving a uh, first simple way c no right touch space uh, uh, C, I am giving uh, five files. One, two, two, five. Extension, I am giving dot uh, txt. There is no confusion. Now, clearly, so C starts with. Anyway, even you got uh, so error. Uh, so files are deleted. Only directly, except directly, it is deleting all files. See here. In the moon, my name is now just a uh, direct name on the files. Good only files removed directly should not removed so that is the reason we got a message now see here c now i am giving rm space c star now all c related uh, everything it will remove now i don't have anything very simple this all are the very simple commands only but you need to practice okay so this is the if you want to remove the file uh, so this is the rm command if you want to remove the directory, now I want to remove the directory. What is the command? Anyone? Previous batch. Same command or different command? Different. Hmm? I want to remove the A, A directory. How to remove? RMDAR. RMDAR, A na. Yes. See here. A is not. Fail to remove. Directory is not empty. What it is saying? Directory is not empty. What is that meaning? Directory is empty. Ah, yes. CD space A, LS. Now inside A, there is one more directory. B directory. Now CD space B, check it. Do you have anything? Already C also. CD space C and LS. Already also D also. See here. 
there is many subdirectories available there is many subdirectories available index.txt file now so this is the path this is very long path right see here a, a directory this is the parent this is the main directory this is the subdirectory again subdirectory again subdirectory inside the directory we have one file index.txt file index.txt file index.txt file now here one more doubt interval also one guy asked so first uh, try to understand interval one or two people they asked this one mkdar mkdar i am giving like uh, dev uh, first i am giving what are the directories available one or two people they asked for example i am giving uh, dev apps already available i am giving test test directory not available now see here i am giving one directory <coughs> so l these are the directories a dev apps okay these are the directories so now mkdr i am giving like this for example uh, i am giving shiva and shiva1 i am giving one more sub directory shiva1 shiva1 and uh, inside shiva1 i am giving uh, so shiva3 and here i need to create one file for example and uh, shiva.txt file so finally i want to create one file here so now i am giving mkdar this is the main directory and this is a sub directory this is one more sub directory inside this directory i am going to create one file so if i give like this it is throwing some error message cannot create directory no such file or directory hey you are create we are going to create file this is a file we are going to create file but it is checking uh, so whether this directory is available or not do we have this directory you mood man hunda as of now I'll leave this one this is a file right confusion now see here i am giving like this i am giving this like this now how many direct this is a main directory and this is a sub directory this is one more sub directory now check it first do we have that one or not see here seva and directory unda ikkada no right this is very simple mkdar mkdar if i give shiva uh, one means it will create there is no doubt correct ah clear in this command anyone any doubt no sir so, now i am giving a shiva one and uh, so shiva two this is the sub directory and i want to create one more directory also now try this one also whether it will create or not now see here i am giving to give whether it will work or not now see here mk cannot create directory and no such file or directory so in this case how to create multiple uh, directories in uh, linux mission how to create multiple directories multiple directories now see here and uh, shiva 3 also or shiva 4 also and in this case uh, if you want to create uh, so first what it will check uh, first it is checking shiva directory available or not not available without this directory how i can create shiva 2 without this directory how i can create this directory now it won't it work so in this case we need to as i p what you need to add i p one or two people uh, enter also they asked so i want to create multiple directories so now what i need to do i p p now see here it is created now how many directories it is created anyone first thing create ain't in the shiva 1 inside shiva 1 shiva 2 inside shiva 2 shiva 3 and shiva 4 artham enda artham kaladha clear ee command andar telusu mkdr mkdr means uh, if i am giving uh, for example sai if i give like this uh, there is no error everything this is one directory it will create happily 
now i am giving uh, sai and i am giving uh, so one i want to create one subdirectory again i want to create one more subdirectory now in this case uh, it won't work this is available and this directory is not available without this directory how can i create this directory so in this case what you need to add iphone p what is iphone p p means path p means path now check it whether really it is created or not ls command now go to shiva directory now go to cd space shiva this is the root directory right inside this directory what is on one more subdirectory see shiva2 cd space shiva2 now ls now see here shiva3 now ls now got it now artham ayinda artham yalada mkdr mkdr enter also one or two people asked this one so what you need to add i pan p i pan p and whatever you want directory names directory names we can give also directory names whatever you want we can use name b name directory name like this we can add it multiple so here what is i pan p p means path i am mentioning a hey, if you available no problem if not available create the directory that's it so in this document also available just refer it somewhere it is available adis alar m there is clear control f i control f m k m k d r i fun p so now see here m k d r i fun p so here they are using uh, so i fun p means path i fun p means uh, path here see here i fun means path of the directories so if you want to multiple directories if you want to multiple directories if you want to create like this first it will create a directory 1 dr2 dr3 like this all directories in the specified path will be created clear so just remember this is normal this is normal if you want to create multiple directories and it won't work in this case we need to add i fun p in this add i fun p clear guys anyone any doubt yes sir no anyone any doubt just note it uh, enter also me this is a regular command everyone know and if you want to create multiple directories i fun p what is i fun p path of the directories now file you know how to remove now i want to remove directory how to remove directory rm space same directory name only same directory name only now see here i am going to remove the directory now come outside so now ls okay so this all are the directories i hope everyone know i fun capital f so this all are the directories this all are the directories now i want to remove any one directory so for example i am going to create a only one directory mk mk dr i am giving a, so i am giving a, so pathi so this is the directory so now see here pathi is created or not created right now if you want to remove this directory what is the command rm space same pathi now see here cannot be remove pathi is a directory now how to remove rm mostly used which one file right now this is the directory now how to remove this directory already someone they are giving some right everything is here also available rm dar what you need to do rm this already you know dar space file name pati now removed now i am trying to this is only one directory pati i happily removed for example i am trying to remove for example uh, which one have we created a shiva one right there is many sub directories available now see here rm dar and so shiva1 now is it working or uh, we are getting any error message 
this is not a single directory so shiva 1 there is one more sub directory shiva 2 and shiva 2 there is one more sub directory shiva 3 and one more sub directory shiva 3 available now see here directory is not empty empty means not empty means and the directory is either something undi got it clear or not <coughs> directory is not empty means uh, this is the root directory in this directory there is maybe some files maybe some directories available now if you want to remove uh, in this case what you need to add anyone rm dir space hmm one more argument you need to pass it now see here so we can give many thing non ignore fail or non empty files this is a perimuta directory and it's a assassins and that case rm hyphen p is similar to the rm space we can pass like this also directory name or if you want to use we can verbose now man space rm dear so here parent verbose remove the directories and accessories okay now we can add <coughs> these arguments also now which arguments we need to add Which one I need to remove add I want to remove all at a time LS. so this is the I want to remove uh, how to remove rm dir next iphone uh, p sure one. Sure one. now still it is saying what it is saying failed so let me rm dir iphone p sorry not p there is one more argument sir can you tell me anyone previous batch what is that command if you want to remove i forgot that one let us uh, try it uh, how to remove multiple directories uh, in linux uh, how to multiple directories rm space hyphen r so rm space hyphen r recursively okay hyphen r means recursively so now we can use so clear the screen now rm space hyphen r recursively shiva shiva 1 now see here now check it ls do we have shiva 1 here r means recursively recursively means so suppose uh, shiva 1 have some files uh, maybe directories uh, i want to remove all i want to remove all so that case uh, this is the command this is the command iphan r here iphan r means recursively iphan r means uh, iphan r means recursively so this is the iphan r Recursively means inside if you have something, if you have something, recursively, okay. If you have something, uh, so that also we need to remove. So that case we need to use hyphen R. Clear guys? Anyone any doubt? So now we know how to create directories. Mostly we are using this command mkdr and go to create particular path and some case if you want to remove any directory so these are the commands these are the commands now we know how to create files how to remove files how to create directories how to remove that directories as well also anyone any doubt as of now clear yes or no yes now you know right date command uh, what is the purpose of date command date date means it will display 
current date and time but real time so for example uh, i want to print i want to print i don't want like this i don't want like this in date also we can pass many arguments see here date hyphen hyphen help so first we need to understand this and all otherwise we cannot understand if you use a uh, percentage uh, d means date of the month it will print only date of the month if you give capital d means and uh, it will give date same like uh, date month date year and if you use capital d capital c these are the arguments and uh, h means hours if you want to hours we need to use capital h small hours means this one and uh, hours minutes a month means only m and capital m means minutes 0 to 59 so these are the arguments we can pass it so date means simply it will print uh, current date and time correct uh? see date no no i want to print a different way i don't want this and all i don't want ist i don't want this uh, so time seconds minutes and all i want i don't want this and all i want to print a different way like this for example today date is 22 right i want to print like this 08 and uh, so 024 this is the current data i want to print like this so how to print anyone how to print so if you give date means it will print full date and time i don't want like this i want to print this format see here right side bottom 22-08-2024 this way and this case we can use date and plus date and space plus and uh, just now we saw right first uh, data go to help here everything available what is this help hclp hclp help and uh, so here we can check i want to print date right what is this day date of the day of month we need to give small d and uh, month if you want to print small month month of next uh, year if you want to print year capital y i am using this see here percentage y only year it will print and uh, small m means month it will print and small d means date it will print see here date of date of month clear date plus append percentage d d means 22 and uh, next uh, what you need to do iphone which format you want this format right iphone percentage month small m iphone percentage full year or small year i want to give full capital y now see here 22 iphone 08 iphone 2024 suppose if i give small y what is happening see here small y means it will give only two digit number last two digit number suppose if i give capital uh, d capital d means what it will print now see here now got it suppose if i give capital m here i am so i am giving small small d and here i am giving capital y now see So now based on anything, so no need to remember everything available here only. Just date, space, if you give help, and if you give hyphen, hyphen, h hyphen, hyphen, help, all arguments available here. And based on this, uh, we can see. Based on this, we can uh, give which format you want. So these are first you need to understand uh, this. I hope you got it right anyway next class i will show you different ways also we can use next class i will show you how to use date and all clear guys the simple format is uh, as of now i use date plus percentage d iphone percentage m iphone percentage capital y it will print it will print this way what is the output 22 iphone 08 iphone 2024 it will print this is the output this is the output 
So now based on your requirement, which format you want, so we can change this and all. We can change this and all. That's it. You understand? Anyone any doubt here? This command. Remaining leave it. We'll discuss later. Clear? Hello? Yes, clear, sir. Okay. So that's it from my side today.